Hey class! Today I am going to be teaching you guys about tacking. So what is tacking? What, what does tacking mean? So if you guys have never heard the word, tacking is pretty much explicitly a sailing term that is used to mean turning up into the wind and then away to be going basically in kind of like the opposite direction that you were going in before. So, the objective of this lesson is to learn how to perform <clears throat> the steps required for a proper tack and to be able to do it consistently while sailing from a reach to a reach. So just to demonstrate or to show what a tack looks like, if here's your boat right here, there's your sails, you guys are sailing along, having a good time. Here's the wind, so it's going down like this, and say you're coming up on something, maybe you want to turn because you've been sailing too far off course or there's like a rock in your way over here and you guys don't want to be sailing right into that rock then what you're going to do is push the tiller away from you and that'll turn your boat up towards the wind and if you keep pushing it away from you you'll turn away from the direction that you were coming in from so there you are now you're going on a beam reach away in the same direction that uh, or in the opposite direction that you were coming from beforehand so, <clears throat> why would you want to tack other than this? Why can't you just sail straight up wind to the windward mark up here? If you guys are down here, why can't you just go straight up into the wind? Why do you need to tack at all? So, the reason for this is, obviously you can't sail straight into the wind, as the wind will be pushing back on you, and you won't get any wind in your sails, and you basically, your boat will basically act like a boat without sails at all, because you're not catching any wind and nothing's happening. So what you need to do when you're going on an upwind is tack. So what this is going to look like, I'm going to draw it as a bunch of jagged kind of edges like this. So each, each little edge here represents a tack. So here I would tack, here I would tack, and I would keep tacking all the way until I've made it to the top. And then you can head straight downwind. And then once you get to the bottom, you do it again. And that's how you do the course. So <clears throat> one situation where you would use this is if this is your uh, instructor boat and your instructor says, you know, everyone gather in around me and you're facing in the wrong direction, what you're going to have to do is tack towards that boat. So if this guy blows his whistle, he says, guys, everyone come towards me and this is your boat, you're going to need to head up towards the wind. So if the wind's coming from up here, you guys are going to have to push that tiller away, head towards the wind and come back towards uh, the instructor boat so he can help you guys or whatever. So, uh, any questions? Yeah? Uh, so, how many times do I have to tack if I'm trying to go up to that top mark? So here I've drawn like a bunch of tacks. You probably don't have to do that much, but it really depends on how big the course is. So if you're going like super far on a really long course, you'll probably have to tack a bunch of times because uh, you don't want to stray way too far off the course. But uh, it really depends on how long you're going to be going for how close you want to stay to the course. Okay guys, now I'm going to teach you guys the steps to a good tack. So that's everything that you're going to need to do each time you tack. Uh, so the very first step is to make sure that there are no boats or anything close to you. So that's a boat, a rock, some guy stranded in the water, uh, the instructor boat, anything that would block your tack, you want to make sure that there's nothing around you so you can go around the tack safely. Secondly, you want to communicate with your partner. So if I'm the skipper and I decide that it's time to tack, I would tell my partner, hey, we're going to tack, prepare to tack in three, two, one. Make sure you give them the countdown so that they know exactly what time you're planning on tacking. And then after I finish that countdown and he knows exactly what's happening, I would push the tiller gently away from me. Then I would step across to the other side of the boat, do my behind the back tiller and main sheet exchange, which I'll demonstrate to you guys in a second. And then I would sit down and straighten the boat, and the crew would switch the jibs, and then we'd be off sailing in the opposite direction. So now I'm going to actually demonstrate that to you guys. So <clears throat> here is my tiller, and here is my main sheet. So what I'm doing is I'm sailing along on my beam reach, and I decide we're a little too far off course. I want to go back up towards the course or towards the instructor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look around. I'm going to make sure but there's nobody in the way. I'm going to look under the sails to make sure that I have a clear view everywhere, all around. And then I'm going to tell my partner, 
Hey, I'm about to attack. Are you ready? Prepare to attack in three, two, one. I would gently push the tiller away from myself. Stand up. Make sure not to stand too high in case that the boom will hit you in the head if you stand too far up. And then you will do the behind the back exchange like this. So I would take, I would switch uh, from the main sheet from one hand to the other hand. And now I would sit back down on the other side of the boat and my crew would come across with me. And then I would straighten out the tiller and everything and we'd be sailing in the opposite direction and my crew would switch his jib and now we'd be heading back towards the port. So I'm going to get one of you guys to try what I just demonstrated. Pete, you want to go at it? Of course. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm on my course. I am on the beam reach. I'm sailing this way. I want to go the other direction. So the first thing I'm going to do is look around. Yeah. Make sure there's no boats anywhere else, no people. Then I'm going to communicate to my partner. Alright, so prepare to tack. We're tacking in three, two, one, tacking. Then I'm going to gently push my tiller away from me. I'm going to stand up with my back foot first. I'm Make sure you don't stand too tall, otherwise the boom's going to hit you. Yeah, okay. So then I grab them behind the back. I do the behind the back switch. I sit back down on the other side. I grab my main sheet. Make sure I'm pointing forward. And I start sailing off the other way. Right? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Tom, um, would you like to go at it? Yeah. Good job, Pete. That was, that was good. Okay, so I'm just sailing back to the port, so I want to go back. Um, Make sure that you're holding the tiller steady. That's all. That way the uh, be in the real boat. Around. Good. I'm going around. Okay, prepare to tack. Three, two, one. And I gently push it away from me. Behind the back switch. That's good, that's good. Good job, guys. So, the reason why I mentioned the behind the back tiller switch, the reason why you can't just switch it like this, or like, you know, step over the tiller like this or whatever, is because if you don't do it behind your back, you're not going to be facing forward. And if you don't face forward, you're not going to know where you're going. And if you don't know where you're going, you might hit something. And if I said, like I said, if you don't look around and see where everything is, that's not going to be bad. And crashing into something, it's obviously not good because it could lead to injury or like damage to the boat, which is terrible. So make sure that you're always, that's I think the most crucial step in forming a good tack, is making sure that you get the behind the back tiller switch correct. So I think you guys both did a good job on that. Well done. Alright, now that I have done the demonstration and you guys are now familiar with how to do a tack, I want to make sure that you guys remember the order of the steps. So I've created a couple cards here, and each card says one step of the tack, one of each of the steps that I just demonstrated to you guys. So I want you guys to put them in order from first to last, and uh, when, after you guys do that, we'll uh, compare with each other and make sure that we have all the steps in the correct order so you guys can remember it when you're actually sailing out on the water. Alright, go ahead, and if you guys have any questions, then you can feel free to ask me. So let's put these side by side and see if you guys have them all first. So what comes first? No boats close. Yeah, that's correct. You guys need to make sure that you're, there's no one in the way. That's the first thing that you always have to do. That's super important. And then, yeah, communicate with partner. You guys both have that. So that's your crew. If you're the skipper and you're deciding it's time to tack, make sure that your crew is fully aware of what's happening because if they don't know what's going on and you start tacking, you could get hit in the head by the boom, and I know from experience that's never fun. And then push tiller away, you guys both have that, that's correct, because that'll start initiating the turn. And then while you're turning, behind the back switch, well these two, these two steps are kind of interchangeable, step across the boat and behind the back switch. But that's fine, because you're going to be doing those at the same time anyways, 
So yeah, behind the back switch, like I said, make sure you're always facing forward because that's really important. You want to make sure that you know where you're going. And then finally, sit down and straighten the boat. Yeah. And switch the jibs, which is good. So you guys seem to know what's happening here. Well done, guys. Seems that we're all familiar with how to tack, and hopefully we can continue to know what we're doing while we're out in the water. Any any questions to you guys? I don't think so. Nope. Yay!